Hi, my name is Guo Zhenxi, nine years old from Nifeng from Yuenlin Primary School. I'm Guo Suwang, 12 years old, secondary one from NUS High School. So here we will still be continuing with our English rhetorics and the first part similes. Okay, so we are at the first part of similes right now. But which part of similes are we at? Blah. Sounds. Yup. Okay, so that's what we have here. So can we give one example first? Okay, quiet as a nun. Anyway, what's a nun? Nun are those like it can be like the keepers of the church, right? Yes, and usually females. Okay, yes, usually. So those are nuns. Yeah, quiet as a nun. Okay, quiet as a nun. It just means quiet. Okay, so it just means quiet, fine. And how about synonym for quiet? Soft. Soft. I can say... Where is this place? Why is it quiet as a nun? Maybe you are blindfolded and somebody make you go to one place and you're like, it's no sound. I can't hear anything. You're like, where is this place? It is quiet as a nun. So most probably, he, you followed someone that you might, might not know. Okay. So that's what I have for this part, quiet as a nun. Let me ask you, so now it's for my turn, right? Yep. Let me ask you, last in the last lesson, lesson for the quiz, what did we have? And the highlighted word is artillery. I asked you what do we have. Um, we have the crossword, definitely, and we also have the we word search. We have four sections. Second. Yeah. One of them is a crossword, one of them is a word search. And one of them is about the meaning, and the other is... Well, we just complete a simile. Well, well if you want... In a crossword puzzle, what was the secret word hidden? And I already said it, it's artillery. Okay, it's artillery, so yeah. Anyway, then just tell you if you didn't know why we have that. For last lesson quiz, you can go back to and watch it. And then you can go back to this, and then you will know why. what are we saying about now. Okay, so... I'm going to use the word from last lesson, artillery. Artillery, yeah. Sounds like something. Sounds like artillery. Du, 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 du. Sounds like an incoming artillery. Why must it be incoming? Let me ask you, how about on the other side of the world? <laughs> on the other side of Can the world? Can you still hear it? But at least it's still incoming one. It's like coming to your side of the world. Hey, but what if it is like one quarter around the way and it's moving towards the half? Oh, fine. So it, that, it has to be like incoming artillery. Well, that means this one is actually quite near already. So this... Now, how can you describe the sound of this artillery? In fact, it's incoming, so basically it's just rolling. Loud. How about rumbling? Rumbling. Because Rumble it is actually rumbling. rumbling, right? It is actually rumbling. I know. I just gave us. So at this part, what kind of sentence can we use? Rumbling. How about like a mistake? Oh, a mistake. Then you can say that it sounds like an incoming artillery. Is there any mistakes? I'm mistaken. The washing machine as a an artillery. Artillery. As it is sound, as it sounds like an incoming artillery. Okay, so maybe you are saying about this because you know the washing machine when the closest is high, 
I do or you can also add as it does sound like. Maybe you have things like that because that the closer since it's very fast, so it keeps hitting the walls of the uh, washing machine. Well, it's then. just not actually hitting the walls, okay? So it just that it spins very fast. Um, it's a little bit like it. But not exactly But it goes hitting. in a circle, okay? I know, not exactly hitting. So in this part, because here, artillery is actually repeated twice, right? Yep. So you can I change this artillery for for an incoming one? Okay. Can be right. For one incoming artillery. Can right? Yeah. So in English, there are actually different usages of this. You can change order a little bit. You can change duplicate of words. Okay. Okay. Get it? So this part will be for sounds like an incoming artillery. Okay, so for the next one, quiet. Okay, let me let let me let you guess. Ma. 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 Quiet the sheep. No, ma. That's not the sheep song. Sheep is ma. Okay, so it's a lamb, okay? The, oh, it's a lamb. It's the... Uh, it's a little fowl? Yeah. So in this part, it's what's, a, what's the big difference between lamb and the sheep? The sheep is the adult, the lamb is the small one. Okay. Maybe more like that, right? More like comparing a kid to an adult. Okay. Quiet as a lamb. Because lamb, they are still small. So, because the lambs are small, they will sound very soft. So you can say faint. Faint. Okay? Okay, so I can say, uh, the music is quiet at the lamb. Can you oh, turn the volume up? You're turning the direction of... No! It? No! Yeah, that's making it louder. So then, most probably because then you cannot hear clearly about the music, and you're most probably not enjoying it when you can't even hear the music properly as it's too soft. Like this, right? So you turn up the volume a little bit, but not too loud, maybe. Okay. So okay. this is what you get. It means it's quiet as a lamb. Okay, and turn up the volume. That means you can barely hear it, right? Yeah. And in fact, lambs from the very beginning, they are most likely to be very quiet, like waiting for the owner. Yep. Like that, right? Yep. So then, after that, can I have another sounds like? Okay. What could it sound like right now? What do you think of? Can you tell me the sound does pretend? It's not a sound. The one that says sound. It sounds like slaughterhouse. Now what's a slaughterhouse? The place where you kill animals, especially cows, which you that's where the beef comes from. Okay, so that is one example of a slaughterhouse. Or oh, I understand this. Or so for slaughterhouse, you know you got the meat, right? Whatever chicken meat, heat with and then and pork, beef, all these actually it's the animals go into the slaughter the owners make the animals go into the slaughterhouse and then in the slaughterhouse they kill the and the and inside got a lot of things and then it comes out to be But a beef. person have to be authorized to do that. Yeah. You cannot act without permission to one animal inside. If not, you may be fined and jailed. Yeah. So, sounds like slaughterhouse. This is how you can understand a slaughterhouse. Slaughterhouse. A house for slaughter. And what's slaughter? Slaughter yeah, means killing... Something more like a cow, a how 
something more like a place for killing things. Okay, slaughterhouse. So that's what a slaughterhouse means, right? So it's just a place for killing. But this killing is not killing humans. It's killing the animals. Well, to say it's scary, animals. it may be humans. Okay. okay. Well, most of the time it's just animals. Because if it's human, it becomes cannibalism for us to eat it. There are such things as that, okay? I know. So it sounds like a slaughterhouse. When you say something, it sounds like a slaughterhouse. You feel scary. Scared. Of course. Or just ghastly, right? You don't even want. You don't even dare to go into the slaughterhouse and be slaughtered. So in this part, well, what you think of usually for a slaughterhouse is that you see this person holding up like a knife, then slamming it down again. Yeah. So when you just try to imagine that, you feel a little bit like scary, right? Because you're going for to be those, slaughtered. For those who watch a lot of these like horror stuff, they'll think yeah. like in the middle of the midnight, or you have even heard of them. Or the sometimes the even you might even think of something like carnivals. So let's not say about all those right now here. Okay, so now it's now a horror Sounds story. Let's continue our study English. Sounds like a slaughterhouse. They're saying that something sounds really scary, right? So what can be scary? Playing the games that we know. JK, it might be a little bit scary for some people, but not for all because like it's just a game. It isn't real. But I said that because that and Sandrina looks very scary indeed. Okay, so let's continue. Let's just knock the horror again. Or are you saying about? Wait, what idea? What's the idea? Well, what could be the idea? Wait a moment. Hold on, your questions, okay? So this idea, well, this is just one part of a whole story. Yeah. So it may be about a teamwork. It may be about some other things, right? Oh, like that's playing. Maybe training for the games. Okay, maybe right. So it just wasn't this. This puzzle suggested an idea, and it sounds like a slaughterhouse to me. Okay, in fact, so, I do not like the sound of it. That means I really do not like it. So basically, let me just ask you, oh, what could be the idea? Hey, like for example, for sports day, for your camps, there are student leaders guiding you. Well, especially in secondary school life. So the most likely be student leaders, right? Yeah. Which are seniors to the person, like for example, me. Okay. So this idea it can be any, right? That's a good one. For example, orientation. Okay. First day of school. All those and the ideas you? they came out with ideas. Just say out one idea. So there are different types of ideas over here, like P four camp, P six camp. That's not the idea. Maybe it could be like for the orientation, you run out of the way. Although that's. It's not good. Or sometimes because just because one and then you just wanted to win, right? And instead you uh, hurt the other person. Usually in composition we do not like to write that. Yeah. So let's continue with this quiet. Wait. Quiet? So quiet as to what? Could it be two lions? Lions, of course, no. Cups are more like it. Lions, of course, they fight. Okay? Unless you mean the male Wait. and the female. Quiet as two kittens. Are you sure it's two kittens? Yeah. Why not two cats? Two cats. They fight. Cats. Some of them really like to fight. Yes. Especially big cats. Yup. 
But lions they usually only male fight with male. Okay. Well, those are called big cats. Okay. Okay. So, so here for the cat, actually for kittens, they like to play with each other. If I notice, if I really watch some videos, actually the uh, cubs of the lions actually play with us the the siblings very well, and then when they grow, up, they become fighting because that they wanted to. So at this part, it's quite as two kittens. Kittens are just the kids, or you say babies of cats, because we don't usually say kids. We say kids for so humans, kids. and so the meaning is fate. Okay. So what can be quite as two kittens? Let's see. What do you think? What do you want? Okay, it sounds more like a uh, some. It's about some one thing. It's not a place. How about like the radio? Um, actually, that's not what I'm thinking. If not, I want something else. So I can say that. This person, or you can say t these two people. You know why? Okay, fine. You know. So over here, I say like that because that here is a two kids. So why not a two people? Why do you need to capitalize this? Paper. How do you want to continue your sentence? So basically, when these two people, when they come together, they are very quiet. What could it mean? As they what? There are many different types of storylines. Do not know what. Find each other. Each other is one type of storyline. They may not know what is the objective. They may know what is the purpose for them going together. And they, they may not know a lot of things. So there are different types of storylines. Well, it depends on your own imagination. And for those they will say for each other, maybe it just reset and somewhat they just met together and then they don't know what to do. It may be just like that. Like just two complete strangers. Yep. So there are many types of storylines. It just depends on your imagination, your creativity. Okay, set your imagination. So at this part, are you clear so far? Okay, so now we'll end here and hope you guys all understand and before we end, if you like our video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button below and tune in for more and thank, thank you for your watching. watching.